For the latest mini election trip, I'm off to Essex to speak to the Culture Secretary, Sajid Javid, who is out campaigning with Harlow MP Rob Halford. He's one of the five faces of the Conservative campaign, a campaign which has failed to put the Tories into first place so far. Is Javid at all worried about the party's prospects? The voices of the Conservative campaign. A lot of it's been dominated by negativity about Ed Miliband and Labour. Do you think that turns off voters at all? I actually think you know, the, since the campaigns uh, started, it's been very, very positive. I mean, just look at the last week, uh, what we've seen with the budget and what we've talked about there, about helping hardworking people, helping savers, helping pensioners. I mean, none of that is negative. That's all about helping people and showing them what a difference a government can make. But there was still a message around the budget mm -hmm. saying, um, don't let Labour wreck the economy. So there's, there's both elements. No, I think it's important to always talk about what you're doing and the difference that makes and you know, the huge increase in jobs, the massive fall, therefore, in unemployment, you know, the big tax cuts for some of the lowest paid people uh, in our society. I mean, that, these are all positives and that's what we should be talking about. But at the same time, I think it's absolutely right to remind people of the mess the previous government left behind and that if you go back to those kinds of policies that they had of more borrowing, more spending, more debt, you're likely to end up back in the same place. Why do you think the Conservatives aren't ahead in the polls yet? It was reported that you thought you might be ahead in January mm. and then in February and in March and when Elliot April and you're still vying in first place with Labour. Well, I think what we're going to see is, that, you know, first of all, like any election, there are millions of people out there, you know, the floating voters and others, that don't make up their mind until probably quite late in the day, maybe in the last couple of weeks. I think many people are just starting to think of the election now. I mean, as, uh, you, you, me, your people that you know, they're in, the, in Westminster or MPs and things, they think about this you know, every day. But the, the, for a person in the street, it's something they'll only focus on as we get close to that election day. I think for many of them, when they do, they will focus on the choice. And they know, yes, there's lots of parties, but there's only two people that can end up in number 10. It's David Cameron, it's Ed Miliband, and the choice is competence versus chaos. And I think when they focus on it that way, that you'll see the Conservatives doing much, much better. So if it is that choice, do you think the Prime Minister should do a head-to-head -head debate with Ed Miliband? Well, actually, the latest news is the uh, debates issue has been settled, and it's a good thing. Well, there is one debate happening, but it's not the original debate that was proposed by the broadcasters, and uh, this is I... a tricky thing for you because you're the <coughs> culture secretary having to keep relations good with them. Well, the good thing is that we have an independent broadcasting system and they should decide you know, how they want to do things and how they want to offer them. But at the same time, it's perfectly correct that political leaders, including you know, obviously David Cameron, but also if any political leader, can then decide what they do want to do and what they don't want to do. But the important thing is they've all come together, they've reached an agreement, and everyone can look forward to it. And finally, in the last election, 16% mm. of ethnic minority voters supported the Conservative Party. Um, do you agree with what Baroness Varsi said, that the Tories will lose the Muslim vote at this election? Uh, no, I don't. I think that you know, we're working hard to appeal to all voters across the country, whether ethnic minority or not. But what all voters want, and I think that's, uh, that's the important part of our message, is it doesn't matter whether you're ethnic minority or not, it doesn't matter if you're working class or not, what all voters want to see is an economy that's growing, that's prosperous, that's able to generate the jobs people want, and also a strong economy that can then help pay for the public services that we want. And what about the comments by Lord Bates this week and one of your Home Office ministers about immigrants having too many children? I think all that's about is a recognition that excessive immigration is a problem and it needs to be dealt with. It's not a, you know, immigration is a good thing for our country. We have benefited from it in so many ways, but everyone recognises that when it's excessive, then that's the issue and that's why you need to control numbers and that is something that clearly we've been trying to do. Uh, the results haven't been you know, uh, uh, overwhelming, you know, clearly we need to do more work, but uh, that's something that's ongoing work and making sure that we can have people that come to our country that are making a contribution and I think that's important. Do you, d do you agree with Lord Bates' comments then? No, I don't think that's what he meant at all. I think he's been misquoted. I think all he's referred to and others is the issue of excessive immigration, which I think everyone pretty much agrees on. You know, we immigration, great thing for our country. It's good to have people that come and want to work and want to make a contribution, uh, but we don't want excessive immigration, and it's right for us, and actually I think for any country, we want to know that they're controlling the number of people that are entering the country. That's it for this mini-election adventure. 
Join me again soon to find out how the election is being fought in a different part of the country. Find out more at minielection.co.uk.